Hello and welcome back to KPN. Again, in this video, as I promised, I will do a video on the meeting between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the leaders of Western Kenya at State House Nairobi. This meeting happened two, barely two days after the Musalia's earthquake. So, what are the objectives of this meeting? What are the objectives? And who attended the meeting? So before I continue, if you are pumping on this video for the first time, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, comment or share the video. And I want to thank the subscribers for coming through. We are heading to 60. Thank you very much. Now let us continue with the conversation, shall we? Now, the people who attended the meeting are the people of the five counties of Western Kenya. What are the five counties? We have the county of Kakameka, Pungoma, Kusia, Chonsoya, and Vihika. Now, <laughs> so the governor, the governors which attended that meeting include Oparanya, the governor for Kakameka, Governor Wangamati of Ungoma, Governor Udichilo of Fika, Governor Ochamon of Busia, and finally CS Divens. Eugene Omalwa. Now, what are the objectives of this meeting? Because remember, this meeting happened just two days after Musalia's earthquake. So it is politically significant. Because we remember that Musalia sent some tremors or shockwaves from Pomas all the way to various parts of the country. That's why you saw a lot of reactions by various leaders. The likes of Atroli, the likes of Kanu, Waipa, DAPK, and all those leaders. So really, Musalia's event was not an earthquake. It was just some shockwaves, which was felt by some few leaders. Now, what were the objectives of this meeting in state, at State House Nairobi? Objective number one, the president want to assess the progress of the projects in the western region. So he wanted to know what, what are, which projects are stalled, which projects are in progress, which pro projects are complete. So they wanted the governors to give him that report so that they will be in a position to know which one to take priority and which one to maybe go and loan to the people or maybe go and assess the progress. So that's number one, to assess the progress of the Western Region Development Projects and uh, Uru Kafne. Two is, I think, this all about Musalia Mudavadi movement to join UDA. So I believe that is what was discussed. What are the consequences of Musalia joining Uru? What are the consequences of Musalia, Musalia leaving Oka? And what are the implications of Musalia not listening to Uru Kenyatta? Because Uru Kenyatta called this guy almost four times to state house. In fact, Uru, some time back, used to Musalia to, in some government projects, to go and launch or to go and lay a stone or foundation. 
like the 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 what you call what the solar enhancement in northern Kenya. I remember the one who went there and launched that project was Musalia Mudavadi. That's when people talked about President Uru Kenyatta pushing for Musalia's presidency. And that is why Musalia is very angry. He saw he will be supported, but Uru then again said this guy is not serious. So to assess Musalia, the consequences of Musalia joining Uru. Because of course, you know, or Musala joining Ruta because people perceive that Ruta has gained, Uru Kenyatta has lost. That's a fact. We're going to dispute that one. So that is what, that's one of the things they want to discuss. Number three, they want to strategize. Now, what next after Musala joined, joining Ruta? So they want to strategize on how to deliver the Forts of Western region to Asimil or Moja. Remember when the governments were there, including the DAPK party. So we want to strategize on how to deliver the Western block to Asimil. Remember, Western is a rich fort area or fort rich area. So According to the, to the latest statistics, it, is, it, it does around 2.08 million voters. So that's a quite a number. If you get like 60% of that to a senior, then you will be ahead. Then number four, he want to affirm his support to a senior or mocha. Because the people of Western, during Pukungu 2, declared that they are behind Asimio Laumocha. So they want to affirm and confirm that he is still behind Asimio Laumocha despite Musalia leaving him for William Ruto. So he want to, to confirm to the people of Kenya, no, the people of Western, that he is still behind Asimio. So let us put our head together and then push the Asimio through. And make sure Ella Molo Dinga with the presidency first round. First round. So that is one thing. They want to assure the people of Western that he is still with them. He has not left them. So let us deal with Musalia. I think that is what is coming out very clear. Number five. This is very important. President Uru Kenyatta want to confirm to the people of Western that now I have talked to Musalia again and again and he is not listening. Now I am washing my hands about Musalia. So Musalia let him go where he will go. If he dies politically, it's okay. So we want to tell the people of Western, you see I have tried my best to, to make sure Musalia is within a senior but he chickened out on Sunday and joined William Ruto. So please do not blame me. But let us now work together, the remaining of us. So he want to wash his hands that he really tried to talk to Musale, but Musale is not listening. He's, Musale is an angry man. He's breathing fire. He's firing from all the cylinders. Remember he fired the, all the cylinders on the Kenya economy, that Kenya is broke, full of cartels in government. Kenya can be mocked anytime. Those are Musali. Finally, number six, they discussed with President Uru Kenyatta how to block brutal Musalia in Western region. So they want to strategize and how to block these duos, Musalia and Ruto from gaining ground in Western Kenya. I think that one was discussed and the strategies were put in place so that because William Ruta is holding a rally today in Akuru next Western. So they want to make sure that rally will not steal the show. They will plan barrel rally, I'm very sure, in Western on Sunday or Saturday.
the same day William Ruto and Musalia were having another rally. So they want to neutralize Musalia Ruto Park. And then finally, number seven, maybe President Uhuru Kenyatta wanted to tell the people of Western Kenya he is planning to tour Western Kenya. So please go there, analyze the projects, the state of the projects. Is it complete? Partially complete? What percentage is remaining? So that when he comes to Western, he will come and launch or he will come and deliver to the people. So I think that is the essence of that meeting of President Murugenata and the leaders of Western. Remember, politics in Kenya now is getting hotter. Now the kitchen is becoming very hot. And if you are not serious, you will chicken out. So those are the those are what I believe transpired at State House Nairobi. I don't know what you think about that meeting in Nairobi. So if you're pumping on this channel for the first time, please subscribe. You want to get a thousand subscribers in the next three months. So by April, we should have reached we should reach 1k subscribers and through you people i know we can say yes we can and for i want to thank those people watching from uh, saudi arabia us nigeria tanzania and the rest and by the way if you are watching this video from County 030, County of Baringo, just say hi because I am coming from Baringo also. So say hi to me through the comments. I want to thank you. There is someone called Chela, who is a Kalenji, just like me, but Ojani, I'm going to talk happy. But thank you very much and have a good morning.